Alright, 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 alright. I figured I'd do this video real quick while I'm trying to repair this MacBook Pro, which <sighs> seems like it's a done deal. Resetting PR, VR, RAMs, doing all this, all that. At the end of the day, this broke nigga shit, man. I should be able to just go cop me a new one, pop my hard drive in there so I retain the shit, start it up, everything, good money. But uh, let me not rant about that. Oh, it's a white screen. It's not going to start, I already know. But, um, to the point of this video real quick, because um, I'm up in my girl Lost, I'm just my girl Lost, I'm up in my girl Frost chat, and I see young um, Tracy up in there, and, um, Dion Smo? Or Snow, S-M-O, Dion Smo. How you doing, bro? It's Tone Space, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we've, uh, been formally acquainted, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to you real quick. Now, this is going to be a very civil video, and I'm just going to try to put things in, you know, a real basic, easy, easily digestible perspective, right? With the situation with um, this uh, Walford cat that you say you're friends with, and the words he had for Tracy Young, and what you came in the chat yesterday with. All right, so let's backtrack, and please, Tracy, pardon me for delving into this sensitive stuff because i don't even like repeating it and bringing it up um but i guess i feel like got to to bring out the uh the seriousness of what dion was somewhat co-signing wow it's at the login screen okay <laughs> a little pep in my in my in my step all right well i'm not even gonna deal with that now i'm gonna continue with this video um okay so this charles warford dude right you know, Tracy's daughter passed, and he's making claims that she had something, essentially that she had something to do with Tracy's daughter's passing, along with claiming that she uh, drives while drugged up and, you know, all this other, other stupid stuff. And why is it stupid stuff? Because it originates from nowhere, from nothing concrete. Strictly Rumorville, where Tracy has, and she should not have had to do this, but I totally understand. She's went through the details of showing the, what we like to call receipts, police records and everything. This man should not have even put her through that emotional situation to be looking into that. Like, this shit should, just should not even be brought up. Like, I don't even like bringing it up. I'm just trying to, to you, Dion, to highlight and show the foulness basically of what you did you know what i'm saying not to bang on you not to uh, curse you out or anything just to put it in simple plain perspective because i think you're doing you know i don't know you like that but i have a feeling that you know you will be sensible enough to see it for what it is you know what i'm saying so all right, so this Charles Warford dude is saying all this crap off of straight up rumors. Tracy puts up the receipts that pretty much prove that what he said is some old bogus stuff, right? So you came in the chat room talking about, all right, Charles Warford is your friend. As you know that the 90 plus majority percent of the chat room is not really feeling homeboy for what he did. You know what I mean? Including myself. You feel me? So you came up in there saying Charles Warford is your friend. Okay, if he's your friend, he's your friend. I totally get it. But then you went on to say you basically three-sided the story in essence. Meaning you said there's three sides to a story. His side, her side, and the truth. Now offhand, just taking that in and of itself, it may not sound like really anything foul. But when you go into the details of what you're three-siding, it sounds very foul. Because you said, look, I didn't mean, Tracy, I didn't mean to upset you. I didn't mean to diss you. All of that. And you may not have had that intention. Maybe you just were aloof to the severity of what you were really saying. But in order for you to three-side this, then that means, um, okay, one side will be Tracy's account, which would have to include the receipts that she put up that pretty much say the shit is bogus the other side would be um charles warford's account but what is that side that charles warford is saying he's 
saying that she killed her daughter, which is, I mean, I don't even have to explain it to a woman that lost her daughter for him to say that. I mean, come on, dude. So when you three side the story, that's what you're co-signing, even though you're not saying, oh, I don't totally believe it. But just considering that, especially if it comes from nowhere, if there's nothing that backs it, to even consider that is like very, very foul in the presence of this young woman. Because I saw her in the chat room, she's like, yo, I'm out. I can't be here with dude. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, it creates like a weird situation. You know, people trying to like let you rock, you know, Frost trying to let you rock. But Tracy's homegirl beforehand, before you and all that. So, you know, it, it makes things look a little funky. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just wanted to bring my part just to hope that you at least get an understanding of why she feels the way she feels. Because, you know, from then it kind of dominoes. She's saying, fuck you. And you're saying, oh, don't talk to me. Keep my name out your mouth and all this and that. But homeboy, you have to understand the root of why she came at you like that. Because you literally co-signed, in a sense, some very, very foul stuff against her. This is not something that you could just easily three side just on the strength that homeboy is your friend. And trust me, I understand. And in a general sense, I think it is noble to back up your friends. Shit, you mentioned a dude that you sparred with. That I've tried to keep shit cool and actually be a friend to on numerous occasions. And I've held him down in the presence of others, you know, that were banging on him about some stuff. Never anything like this where he made such an erroneous claim that's very cruel like that. You no, know, some stupid shit about uh, when his girl was getting banged out. Uh, you know, he was staring at the dude that was banging her out, Dick. I mean, he told the story. You probably heard the story before. But I've actually defended him when people were, like, banging on him when I was trying, you know, when we were trying to keep it cool. I was like, look, um... He was just basically saying that, you know what I'm saying, he, you know, he felt inadequate, he felt like, you know, it was a vulnerable moment for him. He saw this dude, huge dick and all. I don't even mean to laugh about it, but basically it was some old bogus stupid shit that I was trying to defend him on. But nothing, but, but the, the point I'm making is I understand holding your peoples down. Trust me, I get you, dude. But you gotta understand, for you to co-sign or be open to believe this vile shit that this dude says, then in kind, Tracy's people, including myself, Frost, and whoever, is going to hold her down. So you should be able to empathize with that, but fuck all that. Just look at the root. This dude is spreading a nasty, fucked up rumor. It's not something you could easily just three-side. I mean, if anything, just say, look, I just got no words for it at the least. You know what I'm saying? You cannot open the door to possibility of that being true when it's completely 100% bogus. And she took the time and went through the pain to even put the receipts up, my man. You know what I'm saying? So you're your own man. I'm my own man. I can't tell you what to do. But I'm asking you to look at the thing with reason and maybe i mean if you do see something if this has enlightened you in any way you know what i'm saying nice little humble apology you know what i'm saying that's what makes us men is realizing where we fuck up and taking account for it you know what i mean so that's pretty much all i gotta say about the matter you know what i mean i ain't trying to bang on you nothing like that i, I you know i think that um you probably got some sense in your head where you know you could see shit for what it really is um and though I will say this, like that dude you sparred with and my attempts to try to be friends with him, shit never work. Like some people, just think, what if, what if this dude totally made this up and knew it was a bullshit story but still went with this, still said this cruel shit and you're his friend? But somebody like that that would make up and say some bullshit like that and attack a woman like that? You gotta really think what type of character that is. Is he even worth being a friend? What he may do or say to or around or about you at the first sight or sign of, I don't know, some dissension or some hiccups in your friendship. Trust me, I've been there trying to be friend, friends with bozos and shit. But that's about it, bruh. 
Thanks for taking the time and checking this. I hope you got something out of it, bruh.